you are what you eat isn't just a saying. There are certain foods that Alzheimer's and dementia researchers say actually accelerate your brain's aging process. A study from the Journal of Nutrition suggests that it's especially true for your memory. Now, while most people blame aging for memory loss and Alzheimer's and dementia, there are foods that actually help protect and even restore your brain's memory making abilities. And today we're not only going to cover the foods to avoid that might be sitting in your kitchen right now, but we're also going to cover the foods that people over 55 should be eating to prevent Alzheimer's and dementia naturally. Hi, my name is Julia Lundstrom. I'm a neuroscience and brain health educator. And if you like this content, hit like, and most importantly, hit that subscribe button. Does it feel like your brain's moving slower or you have brain fog that just never seems to go away? Or maybe you feel like your thinking is slowing down or you constantly feel just weighed down by some invisible force working against your ability to think. Or maybe you struggle to find the right words to say. So many times people say this is just a normal part of aging and shock it up to that. Well, these are not a part of the normal human condition. It's not normal to have these things. And chances are you're experiencing some of the warning signs without even realizing it. And when left untreated, they often lead to more serious and complicated health problems like Alzheimer's and dementia. So many of us just live with it because it's become normalized, right? Like it's part of aging. Like you open that drawer and can't even remember what you were looking for in the drawer, right? It's not. In reality, we're quite literally living with a swollen brain. Now, what do I mean when I say swollen brain? How can your brain possibly be swollen? And that's a great question. Your brain, like any tissue in your body swells in response to inflammation, almost like a fire alarm that goes off in the brain that releases this protective chemical to fight those threats. And that's a good thing. We want that. But when this alarm stays on too long and the swelling becomes chronic, the chronic swelling actually causes damage and makes the brain not work properly. So if you think of it as like um, a twisted ankle, the swelling helps it heal. But imagine if that swelling never went down. When you hurt yourself, like in the case of twisting your ankle, the swelling and the inflammation is actually part of that healing process. But imagine if it never goes away, if it never goes down, you'd have trouble even walking. The same thing happens to your brain when it is chronically swollen, or in other words, inflamed. It just can't work properly. And that is literally your brain crying out for help. What causes this brain swelling? Well, a lot of things. One of them is chronic stress or poor sleep or even your thought patterns can cause these kind of chemical reactions. We just put links up to other videos if you wanna hear specifically about those things. And also the foods you eat can be one of the biggest drivers or relievers of brain inflammation. And it all makes sense when you understand what inflammation really does to your brain and body. Okay, so your brain, if you think of it as like this, busy network of highways with billions of cars, which are your neurotransmitters. And they're traveling from one place to another super fast. These roads, the roads that these cars travel on, those are your neural pathways. Now when inflammation hits your brain, it's like a major construction project hits your brain too. Your lanes get closed down, traffic starts backing up. Right? Cars start slowing down. And now there's so much of chronic traffic jam, you can't even think properly. And as if that weren't bad enough, it just gets so much worse. With all of these cars idling in one place, you can think of like the exhaust starts to build up and it makes the air pollution so much worse. And eventually that, that affects all the surrounding roads too. So that's what inflammation does 
to your brain. Your neurotransmitters can't travel properly because they're stuck in traffic. If neurotransmitters can't travel, this is when you start to feel that brain fog, like you're thinking in mud or you're losing a train of thought in the middle of a sentence. And eventually, this gets so bad that even simple and easy things feel difficult to think about. Inflammation makes it so you literally cannot think properly. Even symptoms like depression and anxiety and, and what feels like ADHD can occur. And because serotonin can't travel properly, it's just stuck in this traffic jam, right? In this construction traffic jam, backed up for miles and miles and miles. And insomnia can happen because melatonin is stuck in this traffic jam. It can't get through, which means you're gonna have trouble falling asleep and making memory loss even worse. And it all started with inflammation. And this is exactly why inflammation is now considered one of the biggest risk factors for developing Alzheimer's or dementia. And one of the simplest solutions is food. The foods nature has given us can be some of the most powerful inflammation fighters. And the first that I wanna go through today with you are what I call the brain's cleansers that naturally clean your brain of all this mental pollution, this inflammation. So let's take a look at the brain inflammation cleaners. Which foods are going to help reduce this chronic brain inflammation. So your food number one are your green leafy vegetables. So I want you to picture this. Every day, inflammation builds up in your brain like pollution in a busy city. But nature has given us two powerful tools to clean out this mental pollution. Green leafy vegetables such as kale, spinach, and even your regular spring mix, those are recognized for their high anti-inflammatory properties due to their flavonoids. And then we have beets, which are like the traffic controllers that make sure inflammation keeps moving out of your brain instead of building up and causing traffic jams. Think of these as your brain's natural air purifiers. They just clean away that inflammation that's clouding your brain with fog and getting your brain functioning normally again. They also keep your gut healthy, which is so important when it comes to brain health. Because when your gut is healthy, it sends good signals to your brain. But when it's unhealthy, it sends signals that just creates more traffic jams. Crazy, right? Now, I don't need to tell you that you need to eat your greens. I'm not your parent. I promise I'm not going to give you that same old eat your vegetables lecture that made you hide that broccoli in your napkin as a kid. I know I used to feed mine to the dog when I was a kid, but I do know this is what I keep telling my stepson. Sometimes you have to eat food that maybe you don't enjoy as much as other foods for your brain health. Eat for your brain health. Eat because your brain wants it, not because it's your favoriteest thing in the world, okay? And I, I, my stepson doesn't eat any vegetables at all, ever. And he stayed with us for the last two weeks. He saw my son eating a ton of vegetables every single night. By the end of the two weeks, we didn't pressure him. We just kept putting it on his plate. He ate it or he didn't. Put it on his plate, ate it or didn't. Didn't make a big deal out of it. Did talk about the importance of the nutrition behind the vegetables and did talk about how he's gonna feel happier and healthier and more balanced when he eats for his brain. And we certainly talked about how sometimes we just need to eat food to get those nutrients into our body, not because we love them. By the end of the two weeks of staying with us, he was eating asparagus. Huge win, yay! But I'm sure if you're like many of us, you find it hard to get your greens in, right? Those seven to eight servings every single day, even though you know you need to. So here's my simple strategy for getting more greens in. So when most people think about eating healthier, they imagine giving up their favorite foods, like that sandwich that you love for lunch. You know, the one that actually makes you look forward to your lunch break, right? The thought of replacing it with a boring salad probably makes you wanna, you know, cry a little bit on the inside. Here's the good news. Don't replace it. Don't get rid of it, maybe eventually, right? Keep your sandwich, seriously. As long as it's healthy, you know, there's good, better, and best. Good, healthy sandwich is okay. But let's be honest. If you force yourself to give up the foods you enjoy, how long is that really gonna last? Eventually, you're gonna go back to what you know and love. Instead, just add a side salad to your sandwich. That's it. Keep everything else the same. Just add some greens, add some kale or spinach or whatever you like with just a little olive oil drizzled on top. Do this at lunch, do this at dinner, do this at breakfast. Crazy, 
but true. And guess what? You've just doubled your daily greens without feeling like you're punishing yourself. It's such a small change, but research from the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition shows that these tiny changes, these tiny additions can make a huge difference in getting enough greens in your diet to reduce reduce your brain inflammation over time. Having a clean, well-regulated neural highway isn't enough if the roads themselves are falling apart. And that's where our next brain-saving food comes in. So the next type of foods I call your brain builders because they literally build and repair your brain's communication highways. So did you know that your brain is actually made up of 60% fat? That means the roads your thoughts travel on are literally built from fat. But here's the problem. Many of us have been following this low fat diet for years, thinking we're doing the right thing. It started in the 80s. Even when we do eat fats, we're usually not getting the right kinds. And this means the roads in your brain are literally crumbling and getting potholes from a lack of proper building materials. So omega-3 fatty acids, which are like premium grade construction materials for your brain's highways, and fish, small fatty fish, non-farmed like Pacific mackerel and salmon, which contain more of these brain building fats than any other food. So think of these fats as your brain's construction crew, repairing that damage and rebuilding strong new highways for your thoughts, your memories, right? Your creativity, all this stuff to travel on, your word recall. I know what you might be thinking. I thought fat was bad for me. Listen, I used to think the same thing. I was that person scrutinizing every single label for fat content, thinking I was doing my brain a favor, my body. But boy, was I wrong. Because like many of us, you might find it challenging to get enough of these brain building fats in your diet. So here's my simple strategy for getting more brain healthy fats. Start with just two servings of fatty fish per week. That's it. Think about it. Just two lunches where you have some Pacific mackerel or salmon instead of your usual chicken or beef or whatever it is. And if you're not a big fish person, I get it. Here's a trick. Try adding it to foods you already enjoy. You love pasta? Use whole grain noodles and make a salmon pasta. If you enjoy salads, add some grilled mackerel on top of it too. If nothing else, let's take a premium, high quality omega-3 supplement. We sell one called Alpha Omega DHA. It's one of the best you can get on the market with non-farmed fish with high levels of DHA. So the bottom line here though is the key is making small, sustainable changes that you can stick with. So studies from the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition show that people who eat fatty fish have significantly better memory recall and clear thinking than those who don't. And I can personally attest that eating fish twice per week is all you really need to see the difference. And I'm not a big fish person, but you really need to get that inside your body. But even with strong, well-maintained highways in your brain, you still need protection from daily damage. And that's where our next group of brain protecting foods comes in. The last group of foods I call your brain's protectors because they defend your neural highways from daily damage while helping create new routes for your thoughts to travel. So every day in your brain, there are troublemakers causing chaos on your neural highways. Think about the worst drivers you have ever seen, the ones who weave through the traffic, go super fast, never use their turn signals, cut people off. These are the ones that cause accidents, right? Well, your brain has its own version of these terrible drivers. They're called free radicals and they're like road rage drivers causing all the accidents all over your brain's highways. But nature has given us two powerful defenders. One is turmeric, which acts like your brain's highway expansion crew, not just repairing the damage, but actually creating new routes for your thoughts to travel. And the second one is one of my favorites is blueberries, especially wild blueberries. We, we spend our summers in Sweden, my husband's Swedish, and they have wild blueberries everywhere. We love going to pick the wild blueberries. Wild, well, blueberries in general, especially the wild ones, they contain special compounds that act like police officers patrolling your brain's highways and wrangling these free radicals, throwing them in jail, right? So they even promote what scientists call your brain's miracle grow protein called BDNF. And those blueberries, 
they're not blue by accident. Their deep color comes from compounds called anthocyanines. Think of them as your brain's police force, dressed in blue, chasing down and stopping those troublemaking free radicals before they can cause accidents. I know what you're thinking. How am I supposed to use turmeric? It's not exactly something I eat every single day. Trust me, I get it. I used to think that that bright yellow spice in my cabinet and wonder the exact same thing, right? And especially if you got fresh turmeric, it turns, I mean, it dyes your fingers yellow. You, got, you have to wear gloves. So here's my simple strategy for getting these brain protectors into your diet. For turmeric, start by just adding a quarter of a teaspoon to your morning eggs or a smoothie. You won't even taste it, but your brain will absolutely thank you. You can also take some supplements if you really don't like the taste of turmeric. And for blueberries, easy. Make them their go-to snack. Just have them in the fridge. I have blueberries every single morning for breakfast. Keep a bag in your freezer. Frozen wild blueberries actually contain more of their brain protecting power. Add a handful to your, your breakfast in the morning or an afternoon snack. And the best part, research shows that people who regularly consume these foods show up to a 30% better memory performance and clearer thinking. But here's the thing. All these brain boosting foods won't help you much if you're still consuming foods that damage your neural highways. There are four foods that act like wrecking crews in your brain, causing traffic jams, creating mental pollution faster than your brain's defense team can clean it up. Those four are these. Number one, above all else, sugar and especially high fructose corn syrup. Consuming this is like dumping milk into your car's gas tank, completely ruining your brain's entire system. Number two, trans fats and hydrogenated oils. These literally act like tar on your neural highways, making it harder and harder for thoughts to get through. These are any of your canola or seed oils. The Italians consume 13 liters of olive oil per year per person compared to one liter here in America. And we all know the Mediterranean diet is the best. So this is just such an easy switch. Just cook more with olive oil. And then high mercury fish is number three. Imagine toxic waste spilling onto your brain's roads, soaking deep into the pavement. That's why we want non-farmed fish. Farmed fish has really high heavy metal and mercury content. And the fourth thing is refined grains. They're like construction crews that show up, cause traffic jams, but never actually fix anything. So just cut these out and you're gonna be amazed at how much clear your thinking becomes. Now, do you wanna learn more about protecting your brain? Check out my video on the root cause of memory loss and three simple things you can do about it.